Hello, my name is Simon Heinze. I'm medical physicist at Canton Spital St. Gallen in Switzerland. And um, I will start now with my presentation for tomotherapy planning. We have two variant Drubeam SCX and one Tomo HD on our side. In this webinar, I will talk about Tomo planning in general and about my planning strategy for this year's plan competition. The HD in Tomo HD stands for Tomo Helical and Tomo Direct. In Tomo Helical mode, the gantry rotates around the patient. In Tomo Direct mode, 2 to 12 discrete gantry angles can be used. Our machine have in addition Tomo Edge and the Volo system. This technology allows a faster dose calculation and optimization during treatment planning. Actually, we are planning with software version 5.1. This presentation is orientated to the structure of Tomo planning software. So to each tab, I will give you some general informations and some plan specific details. Start with the contouring. Mostly you have to adjust structures because of the optimizer works most efficiently if you avoid contradictions. Let me show you two examples how to adjust. If the ROI structure is close to the target and the prescribed dose for target is much higher, then the maximum allowed dose for ROI you have um, a contradiction. In this case, you have to crop your target structure to reach the goal at the roll. Here, in this case, the roll structure is in the target. So if the maximum allowed dose for the roll is less than prescribed dose for your target, you have to adjust your structures. To reach the goals in uh, this example, you have to create a second target structure here shown in orange with a reduced dose. So for the plan competition, I created target structures for optimization to avoid a conflict and I created help structures to observe the criteria. One of these target structures is, for example, the CPTV56. Here I grab the PTV56 to higher dose levels and some organs at risk. Here you can see in red how it looks like. Another um, help target structure in this plan competition was the PTV plexus. It's the most, um, it's a part of the plexus which overlap with the PTV 63. So on this slice you can see how the help target looks like. I also did it for the higher dose levels. I have created, I cropped the target for 63 dose level and analog I crop the 70 gray dose level to the brainstem for example what you can see here. One of my help structure to observe, observe the dosimetric criteria is the parotid left minus PTV where the parotism is cropped to the PTV 56 gray plus man one millimeter. You can see here how it looks like. Another help structure is used during optimization. Um, this structure is called a void. It's a ring structure around the PTV with two centimeters. You can see in pink. This structure is needed to get a better conformity. 
sometimes it turns out during the optimization process that it's necessary to adapt structures. In my case, the spinal cord PRV, I have to adapt. I created a new one with a two millimeter margin. This structure is needed because of the different resolution in TOMO planning and the evaluation software. How this structure looks like, you can see here. It's a two millimeter bigger structure. Now we will come to the Hoy tab. Here you have to set your so-called overlap priority. The meaning of it I will show you in the next slices. In case A, the red structure have the highest priority. In case B, the green one. In the left case, all constraints you are using during optimization refers to the whole red structure. In the right case, all constraints you give to the red structure um, are refer referent to the shown cropped red, red structure. So this is important because normally you um, your evaluation is done without out overlap. So all constraints you use during optimization are refers to the overlap structure. So for my plan, I defined priority for the target, as you can see here. This is non-relevant considering um, all structures are cropped to each other. It looks differently for the overlap priority for the ROI structures. Here you can see my ranking um, for the overlap priority. Come to the plan settings. In tomotherapy, we have three different field widths. In this plan competition, I use the smallest one, the one centimeter collimator. Another main parameter in tomo planning is the pitch. For tomo helical, it's defined as pitch times field width is couch travel per rotation. If the gantry period is of the final plan reach the minimum, the pitch is too small and have to be increased. Um, in the plan process, it's not so important. Um, one moment. More important is the modulation factor also. The modulation factor is a ratio of maximum to um, to the mean leaf opening time uh, for all non-zero leaf opening values per pro projection. A tip I used in this plan comparison is to move the patient that the isocenter is in the middle of the target. In this way, you will get shorter treatment times for same settings. Or on the other way, it allows you a higher modulation for the same treatment time. Now we are coming to the optimization. I will um, show you some examples about the different possibility in the optimization. Here we want to give 5 gray to the outer orange target and 10 gray to the inner target in red. In case A, we say to the optimizer that 5% of the orange target 
should receive five if five percent of the orange target should receive five gray. of the higher dose level 10 gray. In the second case, we allow 50% um, should receive 5 gray and 50% of the red target should receive um, 10.7 gray. 10.7 gray is used to get some the same coverage um, for the higher dose level. The difference you can see here, um, the coverage for the high dose is the same. For the low dose target, you can see an overdosage while you um, while you are prescribed less dose. In median, you get 5.43 gray versus 5.15 gray in case B. You can also see the difference when you overlay the two DVHs. Now one example concerning the weighting of your constraints. If you want to give 10 gray to the target, but in the blue structure, you allow maximum 9 gray. In A, your importance and penalty for the optimization is very high. I set it to 20. In B, the weighting is very low. The result you will get, you can see here. The max dose is in case A, the max dose is the same. No, what? The max dose is in case A. The max dose for the ROI is extremely lower concerning you only want to have less than 9 gray. In B, you reach the target with a clearly better target coverage. In A, your maximum is 7 gray. In B, 9 gray. So let's try to reach maximum 7 gray for the inner structure. In A, we'll keep the rating as before to reach exactly the wanted 7 gray in maximum. In C, I try to reach the goal with lower weighting factors. The result you can see here. Both methods reach the goal, but in C you have a much better target coverage. The minimum dose in PTV is around 90% versus 71% in case A. If you look to the leaf opening times, you can see the difference. You have a lot of short opening times if you push too hard. To the impact of this, I will come back. In this year's competition, there are a lot of constraints you want to observe. For this target structure, I start with a weighting you can see here. I prescribe the wanted dose to the medium of the volume and weight them with factor 5. For serial organs, I set my constraints as shown on this sheet. Important is the initial weighting factor for all constraints is 1 in my initial plan. 
for parallel organs and the constraints like you see here. So after around 50 to 100 iterations of the optimization process, you have to adjust smoothly. This means in small steps, your constraints for the targets and draws with maximal deviation. First of all, try to comply the dosimetric criteria for the voice before you focus on target coverage, homogeneity or conformity. I have started the optimization with a modulation factor of 2.5. After my final treatment time was less than 20 minutes, I adjusted the modulation factor to find the limit of the treatment planning system. In my case, the final modulation factor was 2.8. Now, as I said before, I'm coming back to the influence of the leaf opening times to your final dose. If you have a lot of short leaf opening times, the influence is, could be very big. All short opening times are not taken into account for final dose calculation. So you can see it here, the final leaf opening time histogram. If you overlay your DVH after final calculation, you can see the effort. Your target will be underdosed. So if you have a lot of short leaf opening times, your final dose will differ from optimization dose. In this case, you have to copy your plan and start a new optimization. Between the first plan and the final plan in this competition, there are 45, around 45 plans. Sometimes better, sometimes worse. So I have also attached my plan report of the final plan. So you can see all my final constraints for all organs at risk and targets. It's a very long list. And you can see my final DBH. In this plan, I reached 98.2%. So I'm at the end of my presentation. And if there are questions, do not hesitate to contact me. You can find my email address down. So, last but not least, I want to say thank you for your attention and, of course, thank you for Ahmad for his effort in the radiation knowledge community and all his good work. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Simon, for such an informative presentation. We really enjoyed it. And in case uh, any one of the uh, planners will, who will be interested in sending you any question, they can use, they can just write a comment on the video below on the YouTube, on our YouTube channel. And Simon will directly uh, answer your questions. So thank you very much, uh, Simon. And in case we received any kind of questions from the uh, planners, I will either forward it to you or you can answer them directly on the YouTube channel. Thank you very okay. much. Thanks.